Elon Musk just did this to Russia and Putin to stop them. Welcome to Texan. Let's start. Elon Musk has decided which side he will support in the conflict between Russia and Ukraine. Tesla CEO is keeping an eye on Russia's invasion of Ukraine, which has been condemned around the world. Elon Musk is not your typical CEO, as both his detractors and supporters have pointed out. The former regard him as whimsical, reprimand him for being rowdy, and are terrified of his erratic behavior. The latter, on the other hand, praises him for never being where you expect him to be when you need him. More than a week after Russia's invasion of Ukraine began, the billionaire has proven that he is undoubtedly a CEO in his own right, one who does not compete on the same level as his peers in the sector. Despite the fact that a large number of companies have stated that they will discontinue or reduce their business or services in Russia, their bosses have yet to take a stand on the Russian crisis. The majority of the time, they claim that sanctions imposed on Russia by the United States, the European Union, and their allies have forced them to stop doing business with Russia. This caution on the side of business executives is mirrored in their approach to social issues as follows. Maintain your composure. You have to think that Elon Musk did not attend the school. Remain steadfast, Musk says to Ukraine. As a result, the controversial businessman has chosen a side in the confrontation between Russia and Ukraine and has informed his 76 million Twitter followers of his decision. Tesla Get Tesla Inc. report chief executive officer released a comment on Facebook Friday night surrounded by three Ukrainian flags on the left and three others on the right. The message reads, Hold strong, Ukraine. Musk also made a second message, in which he conveyed his sympathies to Russia's fantastic people who do not want this. This was meant to put any doubts about his decision to rest. As Russia continued its huge onslaught in Ukraine on Saturday, raising cities and towns to the ground and causing widespread casualties, a temporary ceasefire for the beleaguered southern city of Mariupol, a coastal city, was shattered almost as soon as it was imposed. Russia, according to Ukraine's government, has violated the ceasefire agreement. According to the New York Times, Russian attacks on civilian infrastructure have prompted a mass exodus of terrified people from cities like Kiev, Ukraine's capital, and exacerbated the terrible living conditions of those who have remained. Around 500,000 people in Mariupol were on their third day without heat, electricity, or running water on Saturday. Musk dispatched Starlink satellite internet access terminals manufactured by SpaceX, another of Musk's firms, to Ukraine just a few days after deciding to back the country. Ukraine's Vice Prime Minister Mikhailo Fedorov had challenged a millionaire earlier in the day on Twitter. Musk, on the other hand, warned that these Starlink terminals are likely to be targeted by Russian hackers or other malicious actors in the future. Note of caution, because Starlink is the only non-Russian communication system still working in some sections of Ukraine, it is very vulnerable to attack. Please use this product with caution. A warning was given by the millionaire. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, has issued a cyber attack warning. Only use Starlink when absolutely essential, he continued, and keep antennas as far away from people as possible. Starlink, Musk's first consumer product, provides high-speed internet to people all over the world via a network of hundreds of small, low-orbit satellites. It allows citizens in underserved areas to connect to the internet through telecom companies' fixed and mobile networks. The numerous small satellites that orbit the Earth in low orbit, about 342 miles or 550 kilometers above the surface, are fascinating. This system requires ground stations all across the world to communicate with the satellites in addition to satellites. Musk claimed on Friday night that he will not comply with some countries' request to ban Russian media access to Starlink satellite communications network, which he did not name. He stated in his explanation that he reached this decision due to his absolutist view of free expression. Some countries have asked Starlink to block Russian news outlets but not the Ukrainian government. We will not do so unless we are compelled to do so, he scribbled a letter. 
Please accept my apologies for being a staunch supporter of free speech. Musk also mentioned that SpaceX will focus its efforts at the moment on combating Starlink terminal assaults as well as deliberate interference to disrupt communications. SpaceX's focus has switched away from rocket development and towards cyber defense and signal jamming. Ukraine has been the target of many cyber attacks by Russian operators since Russia invaded the country, according to Ukraine's Information Technology Security Agency. As a result, there are concerns about the country's telecommunications networks. Musk's aim of transforming SpaceX, his rocket and space technology company, into a company capable of sending humans to the moon and Mars hinges on the success of Starlink. SpaceX has now launched almost 2,000 Starlink satellites with a cumulative objective of about 12,000 satellites. Also, as we all know, the Russian invasion of Ukraine had a massive impact resulting in hundreds of deaths and millions of people being displaced. The New York Times reported that Russian and Ukrainian negotiators met again on Monday for another round of talks aimed at finding a way out of the conflict even as Russian forces expanded their devastating offensive and the Kremlin insisted on not pulling back until all plans for the invasion are fulfilled. Musk and Putin in a battle Musk hopes to find a solution to the problem. He appears to have a notion, which sounds like dueling a 15th-century ritual connected to the question of honor in a series of tweets on Monday. Russian President Vladimir Putin has been challenged by the billionaire. He offers himself in a fight with Ukraine as the prize. On his Twitter account, the billionaire added, I now challenge Vladimir Putin to single fight. The stakes are high in Ukraine, he added. Musk has around 78 million followers on Twitter and his tweet has already received over 161,000 likes. Musk sent out another tweet to eliminate any remaining doubts, tags the Kremlin, which he insists on saying in Russian, Are you willing to fight? At Kremlin Russia. The message has caused a stir on social media, with many people questioning Musk's sincerity. This isn't the circus, Elon, real folks are in pain, remarked one user. Another user's response summed up the general surprise. Have you given this any thought? Is there something I'm missing? Musk was questioned by a user. Without hesitation, Musk responded, I take this very seriously. Musk follows his own set of rules. He didn't say how this fight would play out. The duel was a controlled conflict associated with the question of honor in the 15th century. Nobles may use swords or spears to combat, but commoners use sticks. In 10 seconds, the combat would be done. It would only depend on how much damage Elon wanted to cause and how quickly he wanted to do it. Other than that, a fan commented, Elon is also 19 years younger. The Musk supporter continued, pointing to a graph comparing Musk's and Putin's physical stature. I threw the world champion sumo wrestler. But at the risk of severing a disc in my neck, which gave me excruciating back pain for the next seven years, Musk later claimed that another participant had reprinted an article praising his martial arts abilities. The proposal for a duel did not go unnoticed by Ukrainian authorities. Mikhail Fedorov, the vice prime minister, proposed to Musk that Putin be sent to Jupiter. Just in case, Fedorov said, we can send him to Jupiter. This report evidently grabbed the attention of Chechen Republic President Ramzan Kadyrov, who claimed in a Telegram post this week that Musk would need rigorous training before he could overcome Putin. Kadyrov referred to Musk as Alona throughout the conversation, which was a feminization of his name. Musk's current assertions are only the latest in a long line of contentious claims. They also show that Musk is a firm believer in following his own set of rules. If another CEO had made similar remarks, there would almost certainly have been outrage and calls for the executive's resignation. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to hit like and subscribe to this channel for more interesting information.